All right, guys, this is my off-grid solar um, setup for my storage container. This is a 3,000 watt all-in-one that I got from eBay, open box for like a couple hundred bucks, where I've been running it off a uh, LL battery. I used to have it in that section right there, but I'm switching that over to a uh, 48 volt EG4 waterproof battery. So check back with a follow-up video and I'll show you how I like that. Um, Right now, I'm running everything just off an extension cord, but I will be planning on using an, uh, an AB switch so I can switch between a generator in case there's no sun. Um, but as of right now, I haven't had to do that. There's my breaker coming in for my panels. I have six REC 325 watt panels on the uh, roof. Um, I'm running my mini split. I keep it at about 74 degrees every day. I run uh, my Verizon modem, an Echo, this computer, my desk. I got a mini fridge, a, um, a toaster oven. I got these lights across the ceiling that are motion lights. I got a pinball machine I use sometime underneath there. I've got a 55-inch TV, an Xbox. So everything you see here is off-grid. Um, I use this just about every single day. The air conditioner runs i turn it on usually when i get here about seven o'clock if not i will turn it on remotely the battery is usually fully charged by uh, about 11 o'clock in the morning and uh the air conditioner i usually shut off at night this thing has never died on me but it is because i do turn off the air conditioner most nights so i will do some follow-up videos i just wanted to give you guys an idea of uh what i got going on here with my off-grid setup in my storage container so thanks for checking it out, and let's follow up. Check back the other videos.